Thinking about philosophy is a very old practice. It seems like humans have been thinking critically about the world for as long as we've lived in it. Philosophical concepts like good, bad, beautiful, and free might vary across languages, ages, and religions. They might not even be found in all cultures. Think about your neighbor who might practice a different religion from you. When they think about justice or what is good in the world, they might use a concept that differs from your own. However, the impacts of factors like culture and language and their significance are rarely considered by philosophers. What easily comes to mind when people think about the field of philosophy is often imagery linked to the Western tradition. By contrast, experimental philosophy's data-driven methods are designed to study the diversity of philosophical concepts. Many recent findings support the idea that philosophical concepts vary across groups. There is nuance and variation in how people think about what is fair, beautiful, good, and free. The impacts of culture, time, and language are actually measurable and easier to see than you might think. Imagine the following situation. You are standing on a bridge, watching a trolley car speeding down the track. It's going to hit five people unless you do something about it. You can push someone off the bridge to stop the trolley, saving the five people. Would you sacrifice one person to save many? Now, do you think your parents or grandparents would respond similarly? If you pushed the person off the bridge, sacrificing one life to save many, you have utilitarian leanings. To decide what was right in the situation, you looked at the overall consequences. Surprisingly, how you answer questions like this depend on when you are born. Younger people are more likely to choose to save five people by sacrificing one person, showing that Generation X is more utilitarian than baby boomers. Where might you fall in this graph? Do you think you would answer the same as your peers? Now let's look to another situation. Imagine in your mind something that you find very beautiful. Perhaps you picked something in nature or a piece of art. Suppose you meet a friend and your friend tells you that she does not find this thing beautiful at all. So which of the following best describes what just happened there? One of you is correct while the other is not. Both of you are correct. Neither is correct. Or it makes no sense to talk about correctness in this situation. What do you think people around you would think about this situation? What about people all over the world? Variation in how people respond to this question suggests important differences in their conception of beauty. Next, let's imagine a familiar setting. Suppose that instead of meeting a friend for a hike, you decided to stay in to watch a movie and go to sleep early. But unbeknownst to you, you could not have gone hiking even if you wanted to. The lock on your apartment door was in fact jammed, and you would not have been able to open the door. Would you say that you acted freely in choosing to stay home? Would other people think that you freely chose to stay home? Was it actually your choice at all? People all over the world were surveyed on how they interpret this kind of situation. Results show that people in East Asia are much less likely than people in the rest of the world to say that agents acted freely in situations like these. Finally, imagine the following. The chief of a village considers planting a new crop to increase exports, but he is told that this crop will harm the local environment. The chief says he doesn't care about harming the environment and just wants to increase exports. The villagers plant the crop. Sure enough, exports increase, but the local environment is harmed. Did the chief intentionally harm the environment? Remember your answer and consider another version of this situation. The chief considers planting a new crop to increase exports, and he is told that the crop will also help the local environment. The chief says he doesn't care about helping the environment and just wants to increase exports. The villagers plant the crop. Sure enough, 
exports increase, and the local environment is helped. Did the chief intentionally help the environment? Now, did you give the same answer or different answers in the two situations? Perhaps you said the chief acted intentionally in the first situation, but not in the second. Do you think everyone around the world would answer as you did? It turns out, probably not. In some places, people do not distinguish the two situations. In others, they tend to say that the chief acted intentionally in the first situation, but not in the second. The study shows that people's judgments about the intentional nature of good and bad actions are not universal. The examples presented are only four among dozens, showing that concepts of philosophical interest vary across cultures, ages, generations, genders, and socioeconomic status. Philosophers must be careful not to assume their own concepts are reflective of all human nature. There is still a lot we don't know about similarities and differences in how people think about philosophically important topics. But the Geography of Philosophy project has brought together an international network of researchers devoted to addressing this shortcoming. Follow the project for more updates and to learn about our results.